Welcome back, guys. So here we are at the um, the fortress of the Jedi, the Jedi pirates. Now, as you know, the the uh, the, the Jedi have the, the their special power, the Force. The um, the Jedi pirates, on the other hand, have the Arse. <laughs> may the Arse be with you. <laughs> may may your Arse always follow you. Yes. Um, oh, couple of things. My mate, my mate, the developer Kralyurg. One of the developers on uh, of, uh, of Colonial Charter. He's been in touch and he wanted me to know a couple of things after he watched the first episode. Um, the first of which is, look, if you look at the ground, see all these all these little plants on the ground? Now these are like like onions and roots and, and berries and things. Which uh, which are what the gatherers actually collect. Like so you you, you gatherers over here, where, uh, wherever the hell they are. Yeah, here's your gatherers. So the, the gatherers go out into the woods and they collect these, right? Well, they've added in uh, in this version a new thing. Let me show you. Where is it? Here it is. Collect wild foods. And you can actually use your laborers like temporary gatherers, right? So like if you, if you select an area like this and you can see the red bits and, uh, and they'll go and pick them. So in, in like, especially in the very early game, if you've got a bit of a food shortage, you can just get your labourers to go and get some food, which is awesome, awesome sauce. Uh, but just remember, do it outside of your uh, forest nodes where your gatherers are, because uh, obviously that it's the stuff that your gatherers pick. And if you if you send your labourers to pick that, then your gatherers will have nothing to pick, which would be a bad thing. Um, what's the second thing? Oh, the oh, the second thing is awesome. I did kind of sort of begin to mention this um, the the, um, the flattened power tool now there used to be a problem with um, the, like these trees on top of here the the people can't get to these trees to cut them down now there are some tricks that you can use to get around it but the guys have come up with the flattened power tool and now all you do is just select the area and just boom it instantly flattens it but it removes all of the resources. Okay, so you, you want to use it kind of sparingly, because otherwise you'll have no resources left. But like in these mountainous areas, where you've got trees on the top, that is exactly what you want to do. So, uh, we've flattened that, which is very cool. And I must admit, I'm that we're going to do some flattening up this uh, this top area. This is the only kind of big area that I'm going to flatten, but I am going to flatten this this area going up here because this is where kind of the main town is going to be up in this area. Right, uh, it's enough yak. We'll, we'll we'll talk about the development of the town later. Right now, I want to get on with putting in some of the essentials that we need to kind of get the production chains going. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here. And we're going to put in some shoremen because we need um, sand for glass. We need uh, clay for, uh, for for bricks and stuff. And then we're going to get a brickworks going. We're going to get a um, we're going to get timber going. We're going to get all those things because you need those to build all the cool buildings. And I want to show you all the cool buildings. So let's get some stuff done. Let's go. Uh, resource production. Here we go. Shorehouse. <laughs> Right, let's flip you around the right way. So where are we going to put this in? Uh, am I going to put it like right next to this? I think I might actually, for now. Yeah, I'm going to put one in there. And I'm going to put another one right next to it. Oh yeah. Cool. And then uh, we'll give them a bit of a road. Uh, let's, yeah, let's speed things up. I've got it on times one at the moment because while I was chatting with you. Let's speed it up to probably times five for now. Right, road. And uh, while we're on the subject of roads, uh, now that needs this road needs to be there, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. Let's run a road up there as well. Cool. While we're on the subject of roads, uh, I forget who it was. It might have been Bickety Bam. It was somebody who said, um, "You always make your town so cramped. How about having some wide roads?" And I think ab you're absolutely right. And it needs to be done sooner rather than later. So. We're gonna like run a road down here. We're gonna start the process, and this road is gonna be three wide, like that. 
Now, I want to do the same with this road that runs up here. Um, but obviously we've got issues with that because there's there's all kinds of buildings here. Which is a, is a little bit of a problem. So, um, I think we'll, like, we'll start the process of, of moving st some of this stuff around. Uh, so, like, what can we start with? What can we start with? How about the tailor? Yeah, let's start with the tailor, because the tailor's not fucking doing all that much anyway. So, let's get the tailor moved. That would be a good thing. While we're waiting for these guys to start to, like, get built and dig up some sand and all that kind of stuff. We'll uh, we'll move stuff around. So yeah, Taylor, where's the uh, where's the Taylor? Taylor is it going to be uh, here? Fabrics and fibers. Taylor, let's get the Taylor moved, and we'll move the Taylor over here. I guess. Now it's a good question. This road coming out here, I think that should be um, that should be a double road. We've got a little lumpy bumpy bit there. I'm going to put the Taylor here. I'm going to leave a space. I'll put the Taylor in there. Then we'll go to the um, the good old. Uh, I, you know what? I'm just going to use the power tool. What the hell? And we can just remove that lumpy bumpy bit. There we go. Done. Cool. How are we doing? We got we got logs. We're okay for stone. Yeah, we're doing okay at the moment. Look at all the little plants. We could remove all those. Get some extra food. But we've got like three thousand. So like, who cares? Who cares? So we're getting a tailor built. What do we need for the tailor? 45 logs and 50 stone. Now, what we can do at this point, I think, is afford to start cutting and we'll add a second forester. How are we doing for labourers? We've only got one labourer. Ooh, that's not quite so good. Uh, we're running at times five. Come on, some of these some of these lazy kids need to like get their asses out of school and start working we've got five students now poor kids suffering away you have to learn about the arse can't i just like take a lightsaber out into the woods and play play with my lightsaber no you can't you never heard of health and safety right um okay so this house here is going to get knocked down because we're going to make this too wide so Let's put in another house. Let's put in uh, like just a wooden house for now. Just a wooden house for now. But again, I'm going to leave a gap. I'm going to make sure I leave a gap between all the... Oh, I've put that in the wrong... <laughs> I've put that in the wrong place. Idiot. Yeah, idiot. Let's get rid of that. Right, what was I, what was I putting in? I was putting in a house and I was going to leave a space... Eh, not salt box, wooden house. There we go. I was going to leave a space. There we go. So I'm going to start spacing stuff out now, guys. Um, this house will get knocked down. This road is going to be increased to too wide because it's going to be one of the main roads. So let's do that. And, and you know, while I'm doing it, let's extend it a bit. Let's run that out like that and like that. Now again, there's a, there's a this is lumpy and bumpy here, so I think we'll have a bit of flattening going on. But we'll use the regular terrain flattening. Oh, that's the road. So we want to do it from like about there. Oh, no, actually, it's, it needs to be a bit further in. That, that bit's lumpy and bumpy as well. Let's do that bit. There we go. See, that, 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 mushrooms there and on, those are onions, you can see. I uh, don't know what these are. I think, uh, this roots, don't know, don't know. But it's all kinds of little plants lying around on the ground they're letting the women like dig the roads it's a harsh environment this isn't it right so they're getting on with that how are we doing with the shoreman we got the shoreman done yet nope slackers what we got it's because we've only got one laborer is the uh, is the problem we haven't got a beekeeper allocated yet we should do, we should do some bees uh, we've got two blacksmiths Right, let's get rid of one of the blacksmiths. We don't need two blacksmiths. Oh, yeah, we do, actually, because for the... Yeah, we do need two blacksmiths. That, yeah, that's the thing. This um, this iron smelter is run by a blacksmith, apparently. It's this icon here that um, tells you that it's a, it's a blacksmith. 
But learning all of the icons, oh my god. Takes a while. Takes a while. Okay. Have you guys finished clearing this yet? You bunch of slackers. Should we get this on times 10 for a bit? I can actually get some stuff done. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. The poor labourers going, I'm all on my own. It's like, you've got a mate now. Oh, here we go. Now they're starting to get something done. Um, the builders won't be doing much at the moment because there's nothing to build. Uh, how are we doing for log? We've got logs. Yeah, I mean, they're off chopping down logs and stuff. Are there any guys that we could maybe divert for a little while? Uh, Teacher Taylor. Uh, I think we'll keep the fishermen. You know what? Gatherers. Let's nick a gatherer. Because we've got a load of... In fact, let nick, let's nick a couple of gatherers. Because we've got a load of food. We're up to almost 4,000 food. Oh, see, now we're starting to get some stuff done. Right, has this got has this got cleared yet? Looks looks pretty flat, doesn't it? I think we can get rid of that now. Cool, excellent. Right, so um, now we we were making this too wide, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, oh, I know I've already done that. That is too wide. Okay. All right, cool. Right, having um, having got the the tailor in we'll we'll get rid of this other tailor because uh, he's not doing anything at the moment anyway so remove the tailor so the tailor yeah we'll, we'll leave the tailor allocated otherwise i'll forget to reassign it so we've got to get all this stuff done and moved and whatever we've got to get the woodcutter moved so hmm I'm just wondering how I'm going to do that. Because we've got this. this. See, this house needs to get moved. For sure. So we're putting, uh, we're putting one house in there. So we can remove one of the others. How are we doing for stuff? Iron ore we've got plenty of. Stone we've got plenty of. Uh, logs. How are our foresters doing? Are they starting to produce some nice logs for us? Let's have a look at their production. Yeah, 115 logs. Cool. And they're also bringing in some food, amazingly. It's very nice of them. Okay. So, like, right now, we're just... Um, we're just waiting for stuff to, to happen. Let's go and have a look at the shoreman. Oh, we've got the first shoreman. Cool. All right. Let's allocate. Now, this can go up to two. Um... But we'll just have one guy working there for now. And I think we're going to dig clay. Yeah, we're going to dig clay. Now, we need clay in order to build the brickworks. Now, the other thing that we need to get going is uh, lumber. So, let's go over here. And we'll go to, let's see, what is it? Uh, oh, it's uh, this one. Lumber, construction and stuff. Now, there's a, there's a regular sawmill, <clears throat> which um, is a pretty awesome building. I like that. But then you've also got the the water sawmill, which is, uh, that is a really, really nice building. Really like that. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to use that. But it's close to getting the damn thing in. <laughs> it's... Oh, it go there. Go right there. Oh, and we've got that nice wide road coming to it. Should we take that? Should we take that? What do you think? I'm very tempted. Yeah, go on. Let's put that in. Now, this needs clay. Uh, oh, no. The water wheel sawmill doesn't need clay. Oh, now. Oh, it's the brickworks that needs clay. That's okay. That's okay. It's the brickworks that need clay. So, we've got that in. So we can now do a bit more road work. Have a nice wide road coming out to the to the sawmill. It's going to be a big part of the industry. And they're going to need, uh, let's see, they're going to need a nice place to store their stuff, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So, oh, look at that. I, you know, I can sometimes just sit and just look at these buildings getting built because there's all these beautiful models and textures 
that you only get to see while they're being built. Uh, let's put in some storage for these guys. So, stockpile. So we're going to put, uh, well, what the hell? That's a dirt road, you idiot. Actually, pick a stockpile. Good job. Right, we're going to put a stockpile in here. Um, and I want this to, I want this to have the feel of, you know, like being something like a, a yard and whatever. So we'll have a stockpile out the back, six by six. We'll put in uh, a road around that, I think. So we'll have a road that runs around the back of that, like that. I'm really tempted to put in another one on the other side. You know what? I think I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's run a dirt road out there. We'll put in another stockpile. Uh, oh, I've done it again. I always forget to select the stockpile. So what did I put? I put in six by six, didn't I? Let's put another six by six on this side. And then we'll run a road around the outside of that. Just, just to look nice. Cool. And then we're going to need um, some houses for the for the people that, that work here. I think there's um, three people that work here. So I think probably for now we'll just put in like a wooden house. And you know what? Let's, um, let's use the old F key and, and we'll put in like a, a corner house or something. Uh, actually, that one kind of goes nicely there. Yeah, let's just pop that one in. Okay, so we'll have a house for these guys. So we want... You can have up to three. We'll have two. And... Now, uh, <laughs> this uses woodcutters. So... You know what? Let's keep it at... Uh, hang on, how many labourers? Oh, we've got people now. Right, you know what? Let's crank that up to two. And we'll have the woodcutters at three. Go down the bottom here. Woodcutters at three. Right, so we've still got our woodcutter. Now, the thing is, these guys are going to use uh, firewood to make the, uh, to make the lumber. Oh no, they're, no, no, they're going to use logs. Sorry, they're going to use logs. So we're going to need a fair old amount of logs to keep that going. But I wanted to get that running fast. Right, we've got uh, we've got our shoreman going over here. Now, what's your problem? The production limit for this resource has been reached. Really? Uh, oh, you know what? We need to crank up things like this. Uh, materials and dry goods, I'm going to crank straight up to like 20,000. Uh, fuel. Uh, fuel we should probably increase to 1,000 now. Uh, but it's going to put a big drain on our supply of logs. Uh, iron, stone, logs, we'll keep it 2,000. Tools. Tools, I think we'll keep it 100 for now. Food, clothes, luxuries. Luxuries can go up to 5,000. 5, we're, we're not going to have a lot of luxuries initially. Okay, so he's producing that. We get, need to get this guy. I think we're, this guy's going to produce sand. Mm, yeah, you're going to produce sand for now. So we'll, uh, we'll just crank that up by one. So we've got sand for glass, we've got clay that we need. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get the clay going first because I want to get the brickworks going. And the brickworks needs a decent amount of clay, I think. Let's see, what are you producing? You produce 30 clay. Let's see what the brickworks needs. The brickworks is going to be... Uh, no, it's going to be in construction, isn't it? Brickworks, brickworks. Where's the brickworks? Glassworks, brickworks. Yeah, it needs 60 clay. It shouldn't take them long to, to produce that. So, you know what, let's get that um, let's get that put down. Where the hell is it? Uh, brickworks. Where are we going to put the brickworks? It would make sense to have the brickworks, like right here, wouldn't it? Like, they're digging out the clay, it just goes straight into the brickworks. Yeah, let's do it then. Let's do it. So... 
I'm gonna leave a space and we'll put it there. Boom, brickworks in. Cool. Right, we're gonna need some houses for these guys. So let's put in, uh, let's put in, uh, let's put in some wooden houses. Uh, but we'll put them over here. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run a road, Ang, kinda off down here. Uh, meeting up with this road. Like that. And am I gonna make it too white? I think I am. I think I am. There we go. Right. So we'll do that. Now am I gonna make this road too wide? You know, I I think I probably I think I probably am. But I'll need like about that far for now. Just to kind of room yeah, a little bit more. Uh, just to kind of remind me that that's going to be two going into there. Because, like, ultimately, this is going to be, like, the main part of the town in here. So, I want nice wide roads. Right, we've got brickworks. Awesome source. Now, we do need furnace fuel for this. Let's allocate one guy to start making us some bricks. That would be kind of nice. What are we up to in, in terms of labourers? We're up to six labourers. Cool. Wow, you know guys, we're actually starting to get things done. I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Uh, leave me your comments if you've um, got any things that you want me to do, want me to show you specifically or all that kind of stuff, then let me know. We are out of logs, I've just noticed. Oops, let's pause this for a second. We need our laborers to get some logs. I'm going to have to do that before the end of the episode. Harvest trees. Um, let's grab... A nice bunch of trees from here. Boom. Right. There we go. Get on with that, boys. All right, guys. I'll see you for the next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.